Um, uh, what, what are your thoughts on, on raising a, a five-year-old girl? She's five, yeah? What are your thoughts on, on that with this society's pressures nowadays? I, I try to be really easy with it because you cannot prevent these society pressures of, you know, you, you're, you're a pretty girl, your hair should be nice and you want to wear a, night, a nice dress. It, it will happen one or the other way. And I'm not one of those moms that says, you're not allowed to look in the mirror and it's not good to be vain because it's just part of life. You know, they should take care of themselves inside and outside right they look girls as well and if they i don't know if they if they want to be girly and beautiful and whatever then they should be why not yeah and your thoughts on that dad <laughs> um yeah i mean i i don't know I, it feels a bit early now you know to us maybe just because um um yeah i just haven't seen a lot of it she's just five you know but obviously that's coming she's starting school this fall so there's gonna be a lot of changes for her you know and she'll see the older kids that she goes to school with and um yeah, we'll just have to make sure that that uh, you know she's she's confident and she knows you know who she is and what's important uh, and that sort of thing. So. Yeah. So, so being a mom um, and raising your your two children, uh, how how is it that you sort of instill that knowledge that you have in, in your young children? So how how old are your kids? Uh, I have a fourteen year old, a, um, a five year old, and a four year old. Okay. Yeah, and so the fourteen year old obviously differs from the two younger ones, but. Uh, uh, you know, I think the the confidence carries down to your kids, and they they see how you react and act towards other people, and um, that just carries down. I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, your reflection, right? Yeah. 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 Reflection they of your see parents. A lot more than you think that they see, and they uh -huh. hear and understand oh, a yes. lot more than you think that they do. So yes. <laughs> I think you, as long as you're always conscious about that, then you know you got to be careful about what you say and do absolutely yeah well i have a 15 year old daughter that i'm raising and on my own mm -hmm. we both raise our daughters on our own and she um i always say to her you just you you choose your path you be kind to people around you be open to new experience be open to new culture happiness is defined by what you know if you're kind to people it comes back to you it's the universe and it's balance and if you are kind and you smile at people and I always say to her smile at somebody and you've changed their life really honestly yeah. especially she goes to an inner city eastern east side school yeah. smile at some of these kids and you've changed their life and right. our daughters my daughter plays hockey we play hockey my daughter plays hockey and I'll tell you what yeah. <laughs> she just she rocks it she rocks it every day because yeah. she walks in and goes I, I just know what I want. I just, I'm, I'm here I am. She walks in and goes, how do you like me so far? And I think if you just walk in every day and go, how do you like me so far and how can I help you? I think you've just defined yourself as, I, I don't even know if it's confidence. It's just comfortable, right? It's just. Because I have a daughter who suffers from that, who doesn't love herself very much. How, how old is she? 26. And she's actually very beautiful, but she has a very beautiful sister. And she always thinks that the outside beauty is much more important than the inside and uh, I'm we're trying to tell her that love yourself love yourself for who you are and you are beautiful but then you feel beautiful too definitely well having a single mom she was just kinda like you know what I love myself and I love my babies and like they need to feel like the same like we're independent women who need to you know rock and be awesome <laughs> I was brought up in a really like creative household, so it was sort of like, oh, you want to you wanna paint or you want to draw or you want to sing or you want to dance or you want to, you know, pursue something that might not make you money, that's okay. Or, you know, and I wasn't really brought up with like a specific religion either. My parents were very open to me just sort of figuring it out and and not, you know, and it was always support, so. So it's, it's having the support, yeah. agree? Yeah. Support to be, to make mistakes in a, in a good environment so that, you know, you don't go off the deep end someday and you know, have no one there for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, all three of you. I really appreciate your time. Thank you.